In this video, you'll learn how to create fully customizable subscribe forms in Beehive that you can embed anywhere on the web. With subscribe forms, you can collect email addresses, names, phone numbers, preferences, and more on any web page and have the information automatically synced to your Beehive account. All with full visibility of who subscribed and exactly where each subscriber came from, whether it's from your homepage, lead magnets, or specific landing pages. Let's get straight into it. To get started, log into your Beehive account and go to audience and subscribe forms. From here, click on create new form and you'll be redirected to the subscribe form editor. Here, you'll be able to customize every aspect of your subscribe form, including the text, fonts, colors, size, and background. On this page, you'll see three different tabs, content, styling, and settings. On the content tab, you'll be able to customize what actually shows up on the subscribe form embed. For example, here you can change or toggle on and off the title and subtitle that shows up on the subscribe form embed. Any changes you make on the right-hand side will instantly be reflected in the preview on the left-hand side. Additionally, you can customize what fields show up in your subscribe form. By default, there will be a field to collect email addresses, but you can also add custom fields for things such as names, preferences, and phone numbers. To add a new field, click on the Add Field button, and here you can choose from an existing custom field or click on Create New Custom Field to create a new one. In this example, we'll create a new custom field for phone number and then choose the data type. In this case, the information we're collecting is a number, so we'll select number as the data type. Now, if you're collecting a generic text response, you can select text. And if you're collecting a specific date, like a birthday or a date for an event, you can select date or date and time. And finally, if you're collecting a response that requires users to pick from a list of more than one option, you can select the true false option or the list option. Once you're done creating a custom field, click save. Now you can choose how this custom field will appear on your subscribe form. For example, you can change the label and placeholder text that appears above and in the specific form field. And lastly, you can set a condition that makes the specific field required or not when a user is filling out the form. Now in the styling tab, you can customize the look and appearance of your subscribe form. Here you can change the background, header, and form design. The background of the subscribe form is the container the subscribe form is placed in. The header is your subscribe form's title and subtitle, and the form contains the embed's fields, buttons, and terms. For each of these elements, you'll be able to change their styles, which includes their colors and fonts, but also their borders, heights, width, alignment, padding, and corner radius. Now, finally, in the settings tab, you'll be able to customize the post submission experience and what users will see after they submit the subscribe form. By default, users will see a success message after submitting your form, but you'll also have the option to redirect them to an external site of your choice and toggle on double opt-in. Now, when you're done, simply hit save changes in the top right corner, then click on get embed code and copy the embed code. Now you can use this embed code and insert it on your website. Now, when a visitor submits their email, if you have any additional fields, their answers to those fields will be shown in their subscriber profile. That's it for this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to check out the other tutorials on our YouTube channel.